YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today, and today we've got something that we got for free today. Um, it's called a new maid. Well, basically, about two weeks ago, Carl was at school on his way to school, and one of Carl's TAs that looks after him said, Oh, oh um, so and so, I think it's Chris has got something for you out where we normally go to get them. So, he, so she said, Phone them up. Because he said, you can't have it today, it'll be late, you'll have to get out of storage. So he's had this one. This he's had this one in storage for quite a while. Um, this particular place actually is quite an interesting uh, charity shop because it's a it's a local um, sort of um, chain of charity shops. Um, but they generally, because like you've got your big names that are in the cities and the towns, these are more on the outskirts of, of the area. And, um, and maybe but, in the middle of us, nowhere. But for us. And in the middle of nowhere. So, some of the best vacuums we picked up. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Some of the best vacuums we picked up have not actually been in the city where we live. It's been in like maybe middle. one or two towns away from us. So maybe in the middle of nowhere. So this one was about a 12 mile, well about 10 miles each way. But we did actually go. Nowhere. But we did actually go see Santa as well, so Santa's he's got made a tree today, so we've seen Santa today as well. So we, we haven't just wasted our, our time just going out there to no, pick this one up. No, here's the other one what's inside here. So well, this one is a new new maid. Um, it's a new R one. Yeah, it's called a new new maid, and they were produced, this one was produced around 1950-ish. Um, no, like I want to take the top off and you see the brush on the fan. Right, yeah. So Carl's dying to show you this bit here, we'll get this bit done. Just have to have one twist. So well, it's still got some paper on it. So it is a well, friction powered vacuum. There's a fan. No, here's that this is the favourite part. You can taste the brush all out. So it is quite an interesting machine. We're just gonna give this one a light That's restoration. Taking the brush out. Because it's not really I mean, it's got plenty of meat left on the bristles uh, there. Uh, Dad, I know where it's connected. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're just going to clean this. That's one. not actually going in the vacuum. Yeah, yeah but we'll remember, mate, it's not got a... No, this one some, has a... So some of it goes in there. I, I just want to show them the fan working. Just, I'm just going to put the brush all back in. Yeah, so this one is a push-powered one, very much like a carpet sweeper. So I would call it like a carpet sweeper with a bag on it, really. It um, is. It is a carpet sweeper with a bag on it. I'm just going to get this back in. I mean, he's had this. Quite excited about this one. The no. bag is actually a bit little no. bit perished. See, 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 it got the bag and it's got a big hole in it. That's to put a whole shoe in the bag on it. We have. So we're just going to... This is not light on the camera. Yep. Yeah. Looks like bamboo on the camera. Yeah, they, they do the cameras, they do Look. sometimes. Uh, heard that? So that's how it works. Basically. Yeah, uh, you heard the cha ching noise. That's the stuff going down the fan. Yeah, so basically on a mains powered one, you'd have an electric motor like on Hoover Jr. and it would spin it around very, very fast. Now, this one is uh, uh, what I call, this is a friction power one, and um, these were produced originally. No, that does metal on this plastic. Yeah. The, these, well, the original new mates, which I do believe were made of metal in the 1930s. No, no, and here's and what 20s. I tell you you have to go uphill to get into the fire. That's right, why yeah. you push it fast. Yeah. Yeah, so where, where no, we're. No, and I think the old one, they used to have that setup. They only used to have the fan, you used to have the engine on the top, right there. You'd have the engine on the top, and you used to have the fan that way. Ah, right, yeah. And it, and, it, and it usually not go up the hill. So this one, it's not a very good machine, but it was free. Although well, we can't moan about free. It will just really need uh, how a coat of paint here. Look. Twist it back on. Ah, right. Yeah, because it's not got a screw on it. It's, you just sort of... Twist it once. Get in. No. You're going to get that in right. Push it down. 
hold it probably. Have to hold it yeah. down. Not on the picture on Google, it's orange, yes, Keena. Yeah. It's orange. And this is the red one. So it's got like a checkered bag. Checkered. Um if you have a look down here, the bag is very perishable. We've actually put a Hoover Junior bag in it and it's probably gonna have to have Heaven. an internal bag um to make it work. And it, you um, just, I'm not bothered. No, and it's just hard the thing come up. Yeah. So I'm not No, let's show it on the bottom. Go on then. So I'm not really going to bother doing, I'm just going to sew the bag up and wash it really. And then put like a, look. an internal bag in there really. Look. But it's free. Look, the water's spinning back. I I've only pulled it back. I'm going to push the floors. Fine, it's spinning. Right. So there's a bit of corrosion here. We no. can uh, get a bit of water on this. No, and that's how it holds. To take all this off. That's how it holds the handle up. Yeah. Um, I'm not 100% sure what colour the handles were. I think they were black. But that's what colour I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to sand that back again. Uh, Repaint this black Dad. again. What? Well, locked it up, yeah? No. Oh, yeah, there ain't worry about that. Yeah, well, that it's got... That wise dust is always coming Yeah, because that's corrosion, mate, off all the metal. Because it's been... I think he's had it stored in his shop for about two years, I think he said. He found it at the back of his storage, storage didn't he? So it's been it's been sat in a and, and and his shop wasn't what I call air conditioned because to be honest with you it was not very it wasn't a particularly nice day today and and you literally had to wear a jacket in there because that's how cold it was everything gets damp in there okay, I think I as well pick this up so it does so what we'll do now, we'll just give this a quick little go here. On paper. On paper, because we've we'll got a little test with this. And it still needs some. It still needs a bit, but no, I think this was... You have to go fast. This you was have, mainly you push, used... You have to push it down. This, was, to... this was mainly used for like coin, coin stuff, you mean. But it is like a of a... I know like in the beginning of the 19th... See, you moved the carpet. Yeah, so I know, I know for a fact in the beginning of the 19th century, when the first electric sweepers came out, when the Spangler invented the Hoover in 19... You know what, well, did the Hoover, bought the idea from Spangler, and Booth, which is Goblin, which was early 1900s, it was a labour-saving device, and they had a bit of a phobia of dirt back then as well in the Victorian days. So they, they had... Obviously, people that couldn't afford the electric power ones, these companies thought, "Oh, we can make a, we can make, we can make a push one." And this is actually quite an interesting because you actually, you know, when you look at modern technology now, that automatically vacuums your clock, your, your floors when you're out with your robotics. This is like, you know, you've got to run around with this to actually give give it enough, give the fan enough power to actually suck up, don't you? So you've got to push it quite quick. So it's a nice little object, I mean, it's never going to be a perfect one, but it's always for free. And it's another nice one for Carl's collection, really. Uh, it's not mains power, so we don't have to worry about wiring old motors and seize bearings and stuff. I mean, it does work fairly well. So, uh, like I say, probably 2000... Yeah, we have an, an old one on the table. Yeah, 2019, we'll probably see this one again repainted. I'm not going to bother painting it now. I mean, you can't really spray paint anything. In, in winter now, generally now. So uh, thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully on the next one, this one will be looking a lot shorter. Um, and probably- A lot less rusty, no, a lot less corrosion no, on it. I think we need to take it apart. Well, we can just spray it all up and just no, put some grease in that. I think we need to take it apart. We have to check the fan on it. Probably. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. No, but... And the problem we got well, on the first half, I got just wrapped down the fan. Yeah. Of yeah, so it's not complicated anyway. Stuck in the fan bay. So, uh, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. And bye for now.